It is my honor to address fellow women attending the 28th Mid Biennial Conference of the Soroptimus International of the American Philippine Region. I currently chair the newly created Senate Committee on Sustainable Development Goals, Innovation, and Futures Thinking. This committee has given me the ability to look at the various goals, including SDG number five on gender equality and how it relates to the other goals, including economic growth, including sustainable cities, including good health. All of these are intertwined and it includes ensuring the welfare of women. My committee has also had the opportunity to invite expert futures thinkers from all over the world. We've conducted various workshops with government agencies to introduce the principles of futures thinking so we can not just envision the future we want, but prepare for various future scenarios, including the future of women, of our children, of our families. Over the last decades, women have made significant strides towards gender equality, the increased participation of women in governance, Various sectors and civil society have greatly contributed to our society's progress. The COVID-19 pandemic, though, threatens to turn back many of our gains. The economic downturn resulting from the public health crisis has impacted various sectors, which studies show has disproportionately affected women. This escalated violence in the homes. A lot of women involved in personal services have lost their jobs or have less working hours. A lot of nurses are women. Our response and recovery efforts to the pandemic must include specific programs to continue reaching out, assisting, and empowering women. We must not lose track of our commitments to achieve gender equality under the Sustainable Development Goals number five in particular. This requires women's full participation in all aspects of society, including equal opportunities for leadership. Investing in women's social and economic empowerment should be part of our response to this crisis with the goal of fostering a more equitable and inclusive recovery. Civic organizations like the Soroptimus International have a crucial role in helping fulfill this goal. Your programs to support scholarships, education, and the training of women are among the most effective means of empowering women. Again, congratulations the Soroptimist International of the American Philippines region, and I wish you all the best in your initiatives to create a better future for women, our children, and our families, and our country, and the future generation to come. I thus commend the Soroptimist International, a volunteer organization that provides women and girls with access to opportunity, education, and training through economic empowerment. The core values by which you live are the same values that have guided me, brought up by my late mother, to champion these causes for our fellow women. We have to continue to provide women the needed support to have the confidence, the resources, the wherewithal to lead to pursue initiatives all for a sustainable, safe, healthy, and equitable future. Thank you very much. As we say in Antique, duro, duro git ka salamat, palangga ko kamo. Keep safe, God bless, mabuhay. Hello, good day to all Soroptimists. Uh, this is Congresswoman Vilma Santos Recto, ATV, na bumabati po sa inyong lahat. And congratulations for a job well done. Uh, sana ko ay nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan. Alam niyo po, natutuwa ako ng pabalitaan ko na in spite of all these trials, itong mga pagsubok na ito, walang makakapigil sa inyo para ituloy niyo ang pagdiriwang po ninyo para sa milestone ng inyong organization. And at the same time, i-recognize po ang great work ng inyong mga members. And for that, I salute you. Please keep up the good work. And we need to honor also what is good, beautiful, and positive that is being done in our society today. With all the economic, educational, and social challenges this pandemic has brought, 
now more than ever is the time that government needs the partnership of civic organizations like yours to extend the circle of support to the marginalized women and girls in our communities. So please keep up the good work. And if there's anything we can do to be of help, nandito lamang po kami ni Senador Ralph Recto at nakahandang sumuporta po sa inyo. Okay? In the Philippines, we have the Suroptimist International of America's Philippine region where we have more than 2,000 all-girl members. We have 10 clubs comprising the Mariverde District, three Batangas clubs, two Lipa clubs, at ang isang presidente po dito ay ang partner ko po sa servisyo, si Ms. Dean Gong. One from Rosario, one San Jose, one Puerto Galera, one Laguna, one Tanawan, and one Mabini. So to all of you, congratulations. Um, as a feminist, kasama niyo po ako sa advocacy ng ito. Women empowerment, protection ng mga kababaihan. Sana po ituloy-tuloy natin ang advocacy ng ito. So may God bless us. And before anything, may I congratulate our Governor 2020 to 2022, Gabriel Billy Kimpo uh, from Calibo. Congratulations po sa inyong lahat. So sa atin po at para po sa inyo, may God bless us all sa maganda po nating adhikain ito. Please take care, keep safe, and uh, looking forward to seeing all of you after the pandemic is over. God bless you and God bless us all. Thank you.